Hello, do you want to make a door that opens and closes just like this one? Then make sure to watch this video. Alright, let's get right into it. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a part. I'm going to make this something like brown, which is a very good color for a door. And you can make this model however you want, however simple or complicated you want. But I'm going to make this fairly simple. I'm going to call this part door. And I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D and moving it over here and then scaling it out like that. I'm going to change it to something like gray and I'm just going to call it hinge. Now you have to make this exactly like this for it to work because the script will have these names in it. And now I'm just going to make a basic room to show how this will work. Now you don't have to make a room, but I'm just going to make this for the video. Alright, so after we do that, now this is very important. We're going to get this entire model and anchor it. And I'm going to get this door here, group it. I'm going to call it door. And I'm going to grab the hinge here and I'm going to delete the weld. After that, we're going to go to our hinge. We're going to go to our door here and we're going to add in a weld constraint. I'm going to select the weld constraint, go to part zero, select the door. Part one, select the hinge. And now I'm going to add a click detector into our door. All right, so that's our model finished. And now we're going to add the script. So now we're going to select our door model and we're going to add a script. Make sure it's a script and not a local script. And we're going to do local. ES is short for tween service. Game get service. Tween service. This is going to make the smooth transitions with the door. And we're going to do local door is equal to script. The dot parent dot door. And local hinge is equal to script dot parent dot hinge. And then we're going to do local open is equal to false. And that's going to be like a checker to see if the door is open or not. Then we're going to do local open state is equal to these two curly braces. And then we will do open state dot C frame is equal to hinge dot C frame times c frame dot angles zero math dot rad 90 and then zero and then we're going to do and then we're going to do local close state is equal to curly braces close state dot c frame is equal to hinge dot c frame times c frame dot angles <coughs> zero 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 after that we're going to do local tween info is equal to in tween info dot new one then we're gonna do local open animation es create then we're gonna make it for the hinge then we're gonna do tween info and then open state and that's just gonna make an animation and then we're gonna do the same for the close animation And then we're going to do hinge, uh, tween info, and then close state. So now once we do that, we're going to do door dot click detector dot mouse button click mouse, mouse click connect function. We're going to do if open is equal equal to false, then open is equal to true and then we will do an anim play and then else open is equal to false open anim close anim play all right so since i added walls here make sure that we remove all of the welds from these walls 
is it might create welds and if there are welds that's a problem because our door will be welded towards to our door here which will cause it to not be able to move so now if we try this out we have no welds and i press we can see that the door opens i can press again and the door closes and yeah that's the end of the video so thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe to see more tutorials like these and yeah